all right guys thank you for watching another one of my videos i'm captain steve this is deadlands cast fishing uh, before the video starts just want to show you guys some of the rods you guys have a lot of questions about rods um what rods i'm using what reels i'm using so i just wanted to kind of just go over some of this with you guys um this is the kuma monterey 801 medium heavy as you guys can see right here i'll tell you the rating on the, the rod uh this one's got a komodo um 400 series and of course i, I got the deadliest cast leaders on there uh this is one of the rods i use right now here's another one it's a, the same rod just different reel it's an akuma kavala it's a five uh two speed um all these have 65 pound braid it's the same exact rod just different reels um i tend to use these on the boat i have people that, that aren't familiar with the open face reels they're both good reels pretty strong and then this is the okuma pch uh 761m it's pretty light it's light enough for the halibut and i got to pair with the okuma komodo one of the 300 series i think this is the 364 uh, i also use this for for link cod rockfish and jigging took one of these to mexico and we caught yellowtail and tuna and all that good stuff uh, i do have a few more of these rods but they're currently on the boat um one of the things i also do if you guys can see i use pro gear i use the pro gear predator i when i'm trolling there's a tough bite i'll get some of this pro gear I'll, I'll squirt it inside of this this little, little section here the hoochie um just a good little extra scent you can also put it on the back side of the flasher right here um i'll do like a little, little wine of it and it will give it an extra scent the predator is really good it's one of my favorites obviously it's you guys know about the predator and me now um i also use the butt juice this is not what you think but it's made for it's made for halibut um these are some of the rods i use I have a wide selection of rods but these are the main ones i'm using right now um you want a really soft tip when you're trolling and you know nice parabolic bend these rods will do the job for you and like i said even this one that's even the lighter rod will will handle your rockfish and your link cod and all that good stuff like that uh, jigging all that good stuff um, i'm going to rig up a bait real quick to show you guys how this is done because that's been one of the main questions that i've been getting is uh how to rig up a bait so check this out nice and, and yummy yummy herring smells great I'm gonna rig run these up as if I were to go fishing. So, all right. So what I do is I get my trap rig on the leader and get the bait. I'm gonna try to line this up to a point where I know it's gonna be uh, gonna have a nice little bend to it. So that hook's gonna go front. This one's gonna go in the back. And I don't know if you can see right here, but this line right here in the herring or anchovy it's pretty much where their spines at where that lateral line's at like i just pointed out to you guys in uh some other videos so i'm just going to get the bait i get the front hook i'm gonna go right to the bottom of the mouth and try to get it right in between its eyes on the really tough part of the head just like that you guys see that okay now i'm gonna try to get this adjusted accordingly um put it right here right in that spine area you guys can see i'm gonna dig right in there okay and you're gonna feel the actual spine like the crunch as it hits the bone okay now that it's in there i'm gonna tighten this down a little bit not too much you know these leaders have plenty of action already but just enough okay now what that's gonna do is when that halibut comes and strikes it if it doesn't hit from the front because most fish are gonna eat the bait from the tail end it's gonna it's gonna get trapped on that that um, treble hook. So we have these little rubber bands that are actually meant for like braces. You can find them anywhere. I'll put a link in the, the video description so you guys can order them. Um, there. I get this rubber band and I'm gonna slide this right through the tail, just like that. I'll give it one wrap over, come back over the, over the bait, okay. like that so if anything hits it or short strikes it it doesn't fall off and you still have a chance of getting that fish um, one of the main things I always tell people is go ahead and check your baits pretty often every 10 10-15 minutes if you notice you get bit go ahead and reel up and check your bait 
always bring plenty of bait. If you notice that there's a, there's a bite mark or some teeth marks on it, go ahead and change that. These halibut are really picky and if they see a, they see a bait that doesn't look in good shape, they're gonna pass it up. So hopefully that guys, this helps you guys on how to rig the baits up. Some of the rods, some of the reels. You guys go out and catch some fish. If you're using my leaders and you get some fish, please send me some pictures. I wanna see them. I've had a few already, but I know there's more. You guys are catching fish. Um, and we'll do, we'll do a little contest or something like that. Whoever gets a really big fish on one of these, let's say first one to 20 pounds, I'll give you something special, okay? And we'll go on. First one to 30, first one to 40, and so on. Um, even 15 pounds. But let me see the actual fish with the leader in its mouth, alive, not some dead frozen <laughs> little fish about at the market. But uh, anyways, enjoy the video, and uh, we'll see you next week for another Deadliest Cast Friday. So, all right, real quick, guys. I forgot one more rod. This is another one of the Ducoma Monterey's. This is the 801 Medium Plus. It's a little lighter. It's a 12 to 25 pound rod. Um, a lot softer tip, like I said. You want a soft parabolic tip so you can get all that action. It's hard to show you here, but you know, these rods are really, really soft. There's also an 801 uh, medium, which is even softer than this, which would be probably good for salmon and stuff like that. But uh, anyhow, this is another one of the rods. This is the 801 uh, medium. All right, check that out. Come on, Monterey. And this is also one of the one of the go-to rods that I'm using for halibut right now in the bay. So, all right, I'll see you guys in the water. That's the first one of the season. Nice. All right. All right. So I just got a just a, a plain anchovy. Got my trap right here. And uh, use these little rubber bands. You get them online, Amazon. I'll put the link for them and whatnot. But just get my chovy. Kind of line it up. Put the hook right to the bottom of the mouth. Out the top of the head. Just like that. Okay. And the treble hook's gonna go right in the body. Right on that lateral line. Okay, your rubber band, give it a one wrap, the two wraps, set to go. Okay. Any way that fish hits it, it's gonna get it's gonna get some get some pain. Get it back in. So I got like a like an 18 inch dropper loop. Or 18 inch dropper on my one pound sinker. Just gonna check this out. See how it moves in the water. Alright. I'm just gonna let it down. Let it hit bottom. Let it drop. Let it go straight to the bottom. Hit bottom. Now I'm gonna give it another 20 pulls on this one. Okay, there's 20 pulls. You don't want to drag too tight, but just tight enough. Put your clicker on, put it back in the bottom. There we go, we got one on, on the Akuma, Monterey. Ooh, it's, not, it's a keeper. I got keeper. Yeah. Uh, probably don't want to net it. Oh, he's barely hooked, come on. There we go. Come here. There he He's well over. What is he? Four. <laughs> okay, work it up slowly. There we 
we go. Oh, nice. Woo, woo. Finally, got one on the board. <laughs> you got a healthy one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you, bro. <laughs> Thank you. Right. Appreciate it, man. Thanks for coming. Oh, yeah, that's a big one. That's All right. One. Me too. Oh, okay. When I throw the same thing, I see mine. Studio. Mark. Yeah. Yeah. How about you? Time for who? Oh, keeper. Red dog. No way. He ain't coming in here, man. I think so. That guy, he's a hobby. Yeah! Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's it! <laughs> oh, fuck. Right. Oh, yeah. Good shit. Good job today, right. right. I appreciate right. it. Thank Get that hammer. Oh wow, that's bigger than the other one. Uh, that's a little skinnier. Oh, that's bigger than the other one. Alright, uh, here's the wood one. I got it. Here's the wood one. I don't know. Uh, it's back under behind the seat. Corey, turn, turn left. Let's, let's keep it up. Got some Phillips. Big ones, man. Make healthy ones. There's a lot more of those. Flex the flex the nice. awesome, man. Ah. Thank you, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Got the keeper. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Hey. Five, but I'm no. not buddy. Oh, man. Good I'll job, take care of you right now. Good job. Yeah. Now we're talking. Hey. Woo. Woo. That's good Woo. stuff right there. That's a toad. Right hey, we got there. that one off the corner too. Mm -hmm. right? Freaking good, man. Come on, be a keeper. Ooh, nice. Oh, nice. Yeah. Good one. All yeah, right. The box. All right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, watch, watch the food. Get, hey, get some slack on that rod. Fish on there. Fish on, fish fish on, on. right there. Good stack. Who said that? I can still do that. I ain't forgot yet. Let's run a heavier weight on that. That's a keeper. Yeah, that's a good one. What's in that? He's stuck on the board. Yeah, nice catch. Woo! Got it, Terry. Nice helping to get a bite by his finger. You guys really got a... You got it all over here. You guys are in... Here's your... 
I got it right here, but that's awesome. Coming out. Oh, it's a catfish. That's a good one. Yeah, it will. Oh, and a that'll tangle. Eat. That'll eat. Yep. <laughs> Thank you. I can gaff it, that's fine. Let's see what it is, you know? Again, put on two red ones in the water. The way it ran, I think it's a halibut. But we'll see. Show yourself. Here we go. Oh yeah. Here we go. Let me see that. So just grab my rod and just walk back slowly. Lift up a little bit. Lift up, lift up, lift up, lift up. Uh, come on, baby. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on. Oh yeah. <laughs> Let some slack out. Let's give it a few pulls here. Look at that. He didn't hit the bait. He hit the hoochie. Hold that. It's a good fish. Oh, watch your rod. Good night. Awesome. That was excellent. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the rod's. Like double dubber. Let's see. It's coming. Lift up slowly. There we go. Woo! Woo! Good one. Good 30 incher. Oh, uh, It's a good fish right there. That is a tank, dude. How'd that feel? Yeah! <laughs> nice. <laughs> Knock him out, there you go. Good night. One more time! Good measure! <laughs> <laughs> well done, bro. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
we'll see you guys next time. Uh, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and uh, we'll see you in the next video, guys. Again, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Right here. I gotta get back to tying these leaders. So, take a sneak peek. Look at these colors. Oh, yeah. The bright colors. Whole handful of these things. Whole handful of hoochies ready to go. Different colors. Some of those brights. Oh, yeah. Look familiar? They're coming, guys. See you later.